And in today's video, I'm going to answer to the question, how much does DocuSign cost? Welcome back to Solusign's channel. My name is Sofian. I'm the owner of Solusign, a digital transformation agency on a mission to help businesses grow by automating documents, data, and signatures. And in today's video, I'm going to answer to the question, how much does DocuSign cost? I will compare all the various plans and help you choose the right one for your business. And if you're just starting with DocuSign and want to understand how envelopes, fields, templates, and recipients work, you can access my free DocuSign crash course following the link just below. It will help you get started quickly and avoid all the errors most DocuSign beginners make when they start using DocuSign. Okay, so let's jump on DocuSign's pricing page. The first thing that you should know is that all plans come with an envelope allowance. And it's either five envelopes per month or 100 envelopes per year. Most people think that it's unlimited and because of this, they burn all their paid envelopes um, in a couple of months because of all the testing they're doing. And this is why you should never send test envelopes from your paid account, but from your developer account. And here is how to get one. Go to developers.docusign.com and sign up for a free account following the instructions. All the envelopes that you will be generating from that account will be watermarked but at least you won't be using your paid envelopes for testing. And if you're wondering why you should be testing your envelopes, um, you might have not been using DocuSign for long enough to realize that your envelopes are not working as they should, most likely if you're a beginner, so you need to test them before you go live. Okay, now let's return to DocuSign's pricing page. DocuSign is not the cheapest electronic signature product out there, but it's by far the most advanced and versatile. I'll be making another video on how DocuSign compares to HelloSign and Adobe Sign pricing shortly. But for now, let's compare the few different versions that you can get from within DocuSign. So you can either get personal, standard, or business pro. And you can also get access to commercial plans if you need more advanced features like integrations or advanced branding. You've also got API plan that are available for developers and as well as DocuSign for Realtors plans that I'm not going to cover in this video. To find out what plan is right for you, you need to ask yourself whether you just want to collect signatures on your documents or if you want to collect data and signatures. And if you just want to sign yourself, you can get the free DocuSign plan and sign as many documents as you'd like. Now, if you want to collect signatures from other signers and don't need to send more than five envelopes per month and you don't really care about adding branding to your envelopes or even the ability to use the comments features, then you can go with the personal plan but most businesses will need the standard version as a minimum so that they can add their branding to the envelopes. And this version will also send automated reminders to your signers until they've signed so that you don't have to do the follow-up yourself. Also, senders and signers will be able to use the comments feature to communicate within the app, which can be very useful to streamline communication rather than using email chain. The standard version could be used to collect signatures as well as data, but the problem is the lack of ability to create conditional relationships between fields, which means that you'll need to make all the fields visible to your signers, which might confuse them and result in errors in your forms, which will then lead you to have to follow up with them. Now, I know it sounds bad, but remember, this is already happening on your paper and PDF documents, so it can't be worse. But isn't it one of the reasons you are trying to move away from PDF and paper documents? So for example, let's just say that you're asking your signers to choose how they want to receive an item they've just bought online. They can choose to pick up the item in store or a home delivery. If they select home delivery, you're going to need the delivery address. But if they select in store pickup, then you're going to need to know the store they want to collect their item from. So if you've got a business pro plan, you can dynamically display or hide fields that aren't relevant to them based on user selection. So this means that if your signers choose pickup, they will only be shown a drop-down menu with the list of stores and will hide the field for them to enter their address because it's not needed. But if you're using standard, you won't have access to conditional logic, which means that you'll need to display all those fields for them even if they don't apply to the signer. Moreover, you will need to make those fields optional, all of them, which might result in time wasted having to follow up in case some information is missing, 
because your signers will be able to skip them since they are optional. Also, the standard version does not allow you to collect payments. When Business Pro allows you to integrate DocuSign with a range of payment providers like Stripe and PayPal. The payment amount can either be set or calculated automatically based on the user input using a formula field. For example, your signers can select the number of items they want to purchase on the document and this would automatically update the amount that's going to be charged and formula fields can be used to calculate uh, dates, not just amounts, but they are only available in, in Business Pro. Another cool feature that's only available in Business Pro is the ability for your signers to upload attachments. So for example, they can upload a photo of their supporting documents um, when applying for a loan like a 1046 tax return. And that's very useful because they won't need to scan their documents, they can just um, use the mobile app to take photos of their documents or upload an already saved PDF in their file. Finally, the bulk send feature allows you to send separate envelopes in bulk to multiple recipients. It's the equivalent of when you are BCCing a list of people, but much more efficient because you can add um, variable data in each envelope by uploading a CSV table straight into DocuSign. In summary, you will most likely need to go with Business Pro if you want to collect not only signatures, but data and create a great signing experience for your signers which will lead you to less errors in forms and less follow-up time. But if you just need to collect signatures or you have very simple uh, documents, you might be able to use standard if you don't intend to do too much in DocuSign. But if you need more than five licenses, advanced features like the ability to have multiple brands, hide or display certain documents for specific signers in the same envelope, or even integrate DocuSign with other software like Salesforce, you'll need to speak to the DocuSign team to get a quote. Now, what do you think? Too expensive? Cheap? Let me know in the comments below. In the next video, I will show you how to calculate the cost of not using DocuSign in your business, and that's much more than a couple of hundred dollars. I will see you in the next one. Ciao.